Yo, I almost didn't do this today, but I couldn't stay away, so here I am. If you love me, put a get well soon in the comment section to give me a little ginger. Now, what happened this week? I can't say still, much like your favorite candidate that's all over the place. Yeah, you know who I'm talking about. But today is not about him and his many throwback pictures and videos. If you want to see more highlights though, check out our Instagram day for the gist of the day every single day. But I refuse to give the city boys some more clout today. In fact, let's talk about Nigerians doing well everywhere but at home. The new president of the World Medical Association is Nigerian. And this is not an isolated case. I think we need to pay more attention to the hostile environment at home that makes Nigerians excel after the Ijakwa. But otherwise, the potential is choked and stifled at home. I'll mention just one case. Mephi, as we like to call the CBN Oga at the top, recently said fintechs are ruining it for Nigerian banks. Wild, because every Nigerian bank has been moving mad this past week and we've had to turn to fintechs for help. But here's the painful part. Anytime Mephi makes a statement like this, there's a new policy meant to disenfranchise Oops, big word. Ruin Nigerian lives. And this coming from someone whose only known achievement in office is making the Naira more expensive. I don't care whose fault it is, I blame him. There's an exception though. Because when it comes to fraud, we excel at home and abroad. Is there a week we don't hear about a fraudulent politician? Because 41.8 million dollars. That's 10% of Enugu's GDP. Pastor Chimaro Kendamani, you took tithe? But the wildest thing by far this week has to be for Kados. An illegal refinery that has been in operation for nine years. This is giving Nigeria's Pablo Escobar, but for oil. We hear this is a shell operation, and I mean the company. <laughs> I mean, at this point, one would think uh, this is a skit. 